What's up, everybody? I get a lot of questions about what I take with me and my pack and uh, what style of pack I use when I go on my backcountry hunts out in Colorado up in the mountains. So I thought I'd put together a little series for you, uh, kind of run through my pack and, and show you everything that I carry with me, kind of give you a quick re little review on everything and uh, let you know why I use it. Uh, before I get into all that, though, I will say this. It's kind of a, a word of advice, I guess. Um, save your money and and save up for quality products don't try to rush this whole issue don't try to, to rush the process because you only be let down uh, save money for a good tent uh, definitely save money for a good pack and and get the highest quality gear you can for the money you can and for what you can afford uh, I'm no millionaire myself so I know how hard this process is but I've also seen firsthand when people go out and buy a $25 cheap tent just to hurry their process along and then it ends up failing them and then you're back to square one. So it's basically just a waste of money if you do that. Um, always keep in mind that you're relying on this stuff for survival a lot of times or even for, um, you know, just for comfort alone. It's best to save your money and get what you can possibly afford as, as the best quality product. Uh, that's my word of advice. Um, that's just worked for me so anyway let's get into it and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my pack here um, this is actually the Badlands clutch pack it's got close to 4,000 cubic inches of, of space uh, it's been a great pack um, it, uh, it's durable and Badlands warranties are bulletproof uh, I got this out to get everything prepped for a trip one time and I left it on my bed and my dog decided to jump up there and chew off all these buckles. Chewed every single one of them off. And I packed it up, I sent it to Badlands. I think it was three days later I had it back with everything new sewed back on it. Great warranty. Uh, if, if you buy this, if you find these at a rummage sale, as long as it's got the bull skull on it right here, They'll, they'll honor the warranty, the lifetime warranty on it. They don't care if you're the original owner, and really, there's a, uh, it covers about everything. Other than setting it on fire, or you know, uh, I think they said something, if you had an ex-wife that cut it in half, they'll even fix it for that. So, I mean, you can't beat their warranty. That, that's awesome, in my opinion, and I'm a big warranty guy. I like, uh, I, I like to be able to know that they stand behind their product so much that they'll honor it for the lifetime of the product. That, that's just a good company in my opinion. Um, what I love about it is it's comfortable. Um, it, 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 I had it on for 10 and a half hours going straight up and down and on a mountain and it, it was fail safe. It, it worked great. It was comfy. Uh, it doesn't slosh around because everything is tight there, and uh, it's it's got tons and tons and tons of space. I, I don't even think I could, I don't have enough gear to fill this thing, to be honest with you. Um, it has a lot of tie downs on it. Uh, one of the best things I like about it is you unbuckle these right here. Let's see if I can show you. Unbuckle these, and this piece actually comes off. Now you've got a separate little pack here that they connect in the back. Hold on, I'll show you. Set this down for a second. You can connect these. There's clips here on the bottom. You connect it, now you've got a small backpack. Just for a day pack or if you don't want to lug that whole thing from your camp, but you're gonna go out scouting, that's basically what I did. I'd set up camp with the big one, and then from here, I'd put my binoculars, uh, a pistol, uh, some food, uh, and then it, as you can see, it's got the uh, hydration uh, pack. Mine's a, a one liter. I've got a one liter bag in here, but they're very roomy, uh, big, big spaces, big areas, big pockets, and all these little tie down spaces. Uh, you like I leave a clip to here just in case you know you got some. Say I usually clip a compass or something to that, so I've always got it. Uh, it has this right here, which is the main compartment, which is also where the hydration system goes. Uh, plenty of room. Uh, you can take a jacket and put it in there. Uh, I've got my water filtration uh, stuff in here. I'll go over that in an another video. But um, overall, this is just great. 
and when you unclip it, it clips directly to the main pack. So I thought that was a nice little feature. It's handy because uh, a lot of times when you're up in the mountains, it's bulky to have to, to take this whole big pack up with you. So um, from there, you can open these up and you can see you have these. They call this the bat wing system, obviously, because it's like bat wings. These open up also. Uh, each side does uh, plenty of room in there. Great room for like a spotting scope fits right in there nice. Or for myself, I carried my pistol. I put a pistol in there when I was traveling. And you have the same exact compartment over here on the other side. Um, also down here at the bottom, this zippered compartment here, you unzip it, pull this out, and this is the boot for your bow. So when you want to strap your bow across the top of this, you have this boot. It originally comes with a rifle boot that's more squared than this one. It holds the rifle butt in there really nicely. This is a, a secondary one that you can order. I, I got it for my bow because it fits your cam in there really nice and uh, has these clips that snap it to there. And then you use your straps and strap it down. It's rock solid. As I said, I had my bow on my back for close to 10 hours with this thing on there and it uh, worked out really nice. Uh, it keeps it really secure. You don't have to worry about it bouncing and falling off of there. Um, let me see here. The inside of this is huge. As I said, the inside's really, really big. This top compartment here, uh, very big top compartment, and this just sits right on top of the whole pack. It, this is just the very, just one top compartment. I personally, I keep first aid kit in there. Um, you can keep food, snacks, stuff you need to get to fairly quickly. Um, since you have your hydration already on your back, that's part of this. Uh, I, I like to keep snacks in there. Um, just works out really nice. Then this zipper here is your main compartment, which is giant. I mean, it is gigantic. As I said, it's close to 400 cubic, uh, cubic inches. In this pack, I can fit easily three days of clothes, three days of food, um, my sleep system, my cook system, uh, just uh, tons of stuff, and I still have room left. So usually when I leave base camp with this, and I keep in mind that I try to stay out for about three days when you're elk hunting, uh, have enough for all of that. It's uh, that's about the longest I want to stay out if I have to, and then come back in, reestablish your, get your uh, re-gear, you know, dry your stuff out, get more food, get more water, head back out for three more days, depending on where the elk are. I mean, it's got this bottom strap on it that's really nice. I, obviously, I keep my tent here on the bottom. Uh, my sleep system's all inside, so. Uh, this is a Big Agnes tent. I'll review that sometime too also. I think one of the coolest features of this tent, and hold on, let's see if I can get this to uh, get this on film here. Okay, when it's on, when it's actually on your back, and you've got it all clipped together, what I like about it, is you don't have to take it completely off to, to get inside the thing. You don't have to take it all the way off your back and dig through everything uh, like grandma's purse, you know? Then you're digging, digging, digging to find everything. Simply just slip these off, slip off your shoulders, spin it around, get it in front of you here, and right here, you got a zippered opening that you can get inside. Boom, right there. And keep hiking while you're doing it. Say you want some food. You get food right here. Uh, the things that you just want to be able to reach. Uh, it's, it's got a compartments right here. Uh, my cook sets in here. Um, you know, just anything that you don't want to dig for, it's all right there. Zip it back up. Spin it back around and boom. You keep on going. I thought that feature was really nice. I like that behind this. is It was just one of the cooler things about it to me. Um, you have little pockets here also on the belt part that uh, were really nice. I keep calls in here, uh, maybe a lighter or something that you got to get to fairly quickly again. 
Um, overall, just a terrific pack. I mean, just awesome. Durable, bulletproof warranty, as I said. Just, just great. Uh, so, again, that's the Badlands Clutch Pack. Oh, I forgot to tell you this, too. One more thing about it before I let you go off this review. Um, right here, another great thing, and this was worth its weight in gold. If you spin it around on the underneath side here, there's another little zippered compartment. Where this, you pull it out, and it's got this material. This is a big rain fly. That way you don't have to worry about, this goes all the way over the whole top of it. Boom. That simple, that fast, now you're covered. Rains, it gets on there, sheds it off. It's pretty thick, durable material. Uh, this was worth its weight in gold right here alone. Um, it was nice because we got rained on for two and a half weeks straight. Uh, we were out in Colorado's, mon they call it monsoon season, which I didn't even know existed until we were out there. And we got rained on every single day, which really sucked. If we wouldn't have had the rain fly to it, it would have made it even more miserable because it's too hard to keep all your gear dry. Although these bags are water resistant and they do sell a treatment that you could put on them, uh, the rain fly was just much better. Um, so there it is, uh, Badlands Clutch. Um, look them up, Badlands, like I said, makes great quality products. I'm not getting paid by them to say that. Uh, just let you know that they make a great product for anybody looking for one. So that's my review, my quick review on this. There's probably a lot more I missed and that I couldn't tell you, but check them out. There's a lot of good reviews online that, that talk about this particular pack and uh, that's, that's where it's at. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more reviews on some of the gear that I keep inside this thing. Have a good one.